Okay, here's some of what's going on lately. Uh, I'm printing a, a Bowden extruder, air tripper, for my friend Ty, for his Delta Bot. And uh, you can see I'm using my, you can barely see it here, here we go. Uh, my new extruder, which is uh, basically just a very compressed version of the compact extruder for uh, the two engineers motor that we like so much. And this uh, new fan mount on there, very nice, very simple. It's been a while making that just because you know, I wanted it to be rounded. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's coming along well. Um, this is really the first major print I've done with this particular build of this extruder. I've got a bunch of uh, kind of prototypes that are actually usable, but this one's the smallest. So it's the one I'm keeping, and it's got the I can lift up the screws directly up and down. Uh, everything else works well. So this air tripper is going to go onto his uh, Delta Bot frame and push filament out for his Delta Bot to print. And then after this uh, air tripper, and this is actually not the original air tripper, it's slightly, you can tell it's, well, maybe you can tell. If you know the air tripper, it's been revised. He took it and basically removed all the extraneous walls and, and cute bits and set it up so that it's completely open uh, just to make it as accessible as possible and use as little material as possible. I'm not sure about the strength yet because it's a vertical wall against a horizontal wall, but I have a feeling with ABS it'll be fine. With PLA I wouldn't have been entirely sure, although I've been getting really strong prints, especially with the natural PLA. But this is looking good. Um, over here in the workshop we also have a little something else going on which is I've been working on a little 3JS which is a nice little JavaScript tool that lets me uh, use WebGL and I've been using it to uh, make a, a little DeltaBot simulator and calculator. The idea was to have it, you can just sort of randomize, pick a random size, and <laughs> then you move the Delta Bot arms around. Let me focus, there we go. And, you know, it just sort of shows you how it would behave. And if you decided you wanted to have your arms be really far apart for some reason, you could see that maybe it would have maybe it would work, maybe it wouldn't, but you never know. And so I'm going to make it so it can do three towers, six towers, you know, and basically as close or as far apart as you want. Uh, but for the moment, uh, it's right now doing, you know, it's keeping track of the deltas and all that sort of stuff, and then it has some commands. But I'd like to make a little more of a GUI. This, this stuff's all JavaScript on into the into the web page, and I'd rather have it be doing more of the actual WebGL and have the interface be draggable sliders and things like that. But it's you know prototyping. That's how you go. That's how it go. How it goes. And if you want to hear some of the code, look at it. Oh my God, JavaScript. It's honestly it's so object oriented lately. I don't know if you've noticed, like. This property is a function. This property is a function. That property is a function. Oh my God! Uh, and then you ha and then I've used the word self all throughout the whole thing, and that makes it really unwieldy. Rather than I have to keep typing self dot self dot, but that's kind of the way I constructed it. I'll maybe I'll just give it another a simple letter like you know Q. It'll just be I don't know. I can't call it S, can I? Anyway. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun playing with this code, uh, and I got some synthetic grease, and it's really been making the printer so much quieter. Uh, the bearings just used to be a little more, they used to make a little more noise, now they're just so quiet. All on the bottom, top. Uh, and soldering stuff. This thing's coming along well.
I'm going to have this done pretty soon. I have to get a 5, an M5 bolt, and then that'll be cool. And then I'll get another motor to do something with. I'm not sure what yet, but we shall see. There's a lot, a lot of possibilities. So, here comes your, here comes your air trip time. I hope you like it. I hope it comes out good. See you soon.